Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run, where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only a single soldier per mission. It's been a while since I have played the game, so we're jumping in right back where we left off the campaign. End of month number 16, beginning of month number 17. I was just checking the globe here before essentially ending the month. Uh, the last save apparently hasn't registered uh, the teamwork training. Anyways, two things happened. Uh, number one, the last blip for the Avatar project just uh, came about. Uh, so we're now on a tight timer. And number two, a uh, new Guerrilla Ops mission has just started to appear with a major breakthrough essentially adding uh, additional two uh, blocks to the progress of the avatar which i think we can counter it's just a uh, recovery of an item and that should counter the dark event on top of it on top of it we might be able to get one facility down so that we're stopping the doom timer as well cypher here is going to be uh, the one uh, attempting the mission and the idea is really just to finish the mission not engage anyone and essentially simply do the mission and uh, stop the additional uh, blips from happening and we're jumping in hot look at that we haven't even uh, come alone we got a double spy in this case a trooper who's going to help us Seven turns until all of this here is going to end. And it's a pretty simple hack. The trooper will help us to not be stuck in a situation that we wouldn't want to have. Normally, um, it's a problem to double move because if we double move and got spotted out, we essentially can't leave. Ooh, that's close. Very close. Wow. Incredibly lucky. Okay. No rest for the wicked. problem with moving to here the main problem with moving to here is there might be another pack right here pretty sure there are no towers because these here are just the mounts for the towers however no tower has been mounted optimal case would have been to just slip by and ignore the mech. Gotta take some risks here. And luckily got rewarded. Commander, that codec provides the ideal opportunity to infiltrate the advent network. Oh no, Tigan. Don't even Think about it. On the move. Our job is to get to here, hack it, and get the hell out of it here. Going to be spotted out. Which means, unfortunately, we just pulled two packs. No, we pulled one. We pulled one. What's our chance with Haywire Protocol? Fifty-fifty, 
to take control over the enemy unit. I am thinking. Hmm. Let me think. We know there this is a pack in here is another pack. The mutant is a bit of a problem. The codex not so much. Can't deal enough damage to essentially hurt us. The school mining would be helpful. Gives us potentially another facility lead as well. Hmm. Hmm. Fight or flight, that's the question, I guess. We could give ourselves an aid protocol, essentially uh, making ourselves a less attractive target for the Stun Lancer and try to take over the mech, and then we would have enough bodies to just deal with the Stun Lancer. I think we do have the time for that. If we're failing to do it, I'm pretty confident that we will survive. So I'm not calling in the Sky Ranger, but yet. We got an almost 60% chance to take him over. All right, come on. Yep, very good. Good. We want to make sure, really, really sure that we're not triggering the other pack. Yeah, let's not use the grenade. Let's instead overwatch, which makes him even more of a target. Stun Lancers love to hit the target with overwatch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go get him, champ. All right. So... That is some damage. Three to five only. <coughs> Here's the deal. This here should take care of his armor. <coughs> Not optimal at all. We position ourselves up here for the height advantage. And afterwards, we're taking full cover. Plus, 
taking out the Sun Lancer and preventing any grenade throws from the mutant. This is going to be a psionic bomb, which was to be expected. Three more turns, so far so good. Eight to nine damage. I think we should take the shot. Yeah. One more round after this and then the mech will no longer be ours. We could go ballsy, a skull jacket, and summon the avatar. Not particularly keen to do that. Okay. Could be a potential idea to just pull back a little bit here to full cover and then move in next turn finish the mission and get out of here i think that's exactly what i'm going to do I'm going to take an overboard shot but that is okay for me We could put him in as a sacrificial lamb. Essentially blocking the spot. Alternatively reloading, but that would just produce two codices. Nah, not a good idea. Okay. All right, blazing pinions doesn't really do much, and we're going to finish the mission next turn. Should have just expected that there was another pack right up here. Okay. This is going to trigger two overwatch shots. One. And two. There we go. And this here. Hopefully finishes uh, the mission. With our firepower, arguably we might have even been able to win the entire mission. But, I mean, we already won some intel. 
prevented the dark event from happening, got out of here completely unscathed. So that's more than you could ask for. Pretty solid mission overall. Oh yeah, okay, so our double agent is still here. Yeah, but that's not going to matter. He's going to die anyways. I'll just cut this part off. Oh, just for reference, the Berserker Queen was here as well. <laughs> we could have had some fun with her. I retract my previous statement that we could have easily won the entire map. Probably not. Alright, and we're back. Cypher just single-handedly did the mission. We even got some loot. Repeater and expanded magazine is fine. 20 intel is really nice. And we countered the major dark event breakthrough. So that is good. Might as well increase their bond. Let's double check. Bond training, grenadier and ranger. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Okay, next up we want to prevent as much time as possible from the avatar timing. Which means that's one, zero, one. We're assaulting a facility to make sure that we're preventing as much of the remaining time as possible. As always, we're going in with our Reaper for an all-stealth mission. And the objective is simply to stealth run it as fast as possible. And there we go, just landed. It should be a simple in and out run. Only nine enemies in here. A lot of sectoids on top of it. I'm on the move. All right, moving closer. If there are only nine enemies, that's usually a pretty decent sign that um, there is a chosen a potential support. We already found five of them. Let's see where the rest is currently hiding. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Over in. Yeah, they can't come in. Emergency 
So, that's three, six, eight, and there's going to be a chosen one, so it doesn't even matter. I was contemplating the idea of effectively doing the mission instead of just speed running it, but uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, we're not going to hit the gatekeeper. We could hit the codex, though. Got another ability point there for an ambush kill. And that's the facilities. Uh, that's the facility. Easy enough. And there we're back. Good job. Got another Codex brain. This part here is important. Progress on the Avatar project is delayed. Probably should have killed the Sector to get another Mind Shield, but we can do that the next time. Now, let's pray that next month we're going to have some reduction of the Avatar project. Keep in mind our resistance order already on top of it will take off one more um, bubble. So in month number 17 we're starting with two bobs, uh, bubbles off. That's not a problem. Uh, this here is probably going to be an issue soon. Um, no, not a problem, not a problem, and no idea what they're planning elsewise. Might as well switch, because we are currently not gaining any extra XP, but armor and vest projects immediately. My followers will obey. Oh, wait a second, we even got more. Well, yeah, all of them are not really good. Might as well use the 10% experience. I understand, Commander. The adventure power is helpful. Not necessary, but helpful. Let's get it because it's a permanent bonus. And we might want to see what else is available. So let's take a look here. Reduce avatar project. That's good. The skirmisher isn't bad, would be a colonel skirmisher. 10 days, definitely possible. Dutch plus 10 is really good, plus a scientist never hurts. We're going to start with this here. Yeah, we should start with this here. Might need to purchase chosen information to to decrease uh, the time. This here is good. This here is good. Yep, 
Yep, got some really nice abilities here. Alright, so... In terms of their equipment, they are well equipped. The ambush here could be a little issue, but not really um, anything to be concerned about. I hope we're not getting injured, because I still want to get the plus two hit points for for um, our Templar. But reducing the avatar progress absolutely has priority at the moment. As you've seen, we were struggling quite a bit to uh, to contain it. Oh, by the way, just out of curiosity, maybe we can purchase some um, chosen information. We're okay on Intel. Nah, not really. Too bad. Avenger plotting new course. Good news is both of our psionic characters are having a blast and start getting trained. So that's working out quite well. I think by the way beginning of next month Beginning of next month, I might change uh, the format of the videos a bit because we're 38, uh, 38 episodes into the series. And I think once we've stabilized the Avatar project again, we should actually be fine. I don't see much of a threat for us currently. It's just going to be repetitive every month the same. So I think I'm going to uh, to kind of skip towards highlights mainly. Commander, we're picking up an emergency transponder signal. It looks like the last team we deployed was ambushed on their covert action. We're sending Firebrand to their position. And we are starting yet another ambush. It's going to include the exact same tactic as before. There will be a drop. Yep, right there. We're going to use uh, Bladestorm. We're going to use... Uh, you know what? Let's use Pistol Overwatch because it's... It's more efficient on uh, low range. I've got eyes on an admin position. And there we go.
Nice. We're seeing quite some damage just out of uh, Blade Storm. Moving to here, getting the extra focus. Moving to here for potential blade storm kill and a pistol overwatch. The Templar is a beast. Just the sheer mobility by now. It's incredible. All right, Dark Tower takes a high ground spot here. The enemies luckily never explode anything. And soon the first swarm, yeah, I was just about to say soon the first swarm is supposed to hit. Single move to here and here. Edgar needs to double, uh, Dark Tower Noxus needs to double move. Hawkbite is just too fast. And way too furious. Hogbite's moving in. I don't want to pull the Advent. That's sitting somewhere around here. Instead, we're moving up. Oh, we still don't have the between the eye resistance order. We should try to get that. You know what? Since we haven't seen any enemy yet, might as well go here, get the full focus. There we go. That was the last bit of focus that he needed. Noxus takes a position over here. And that's pretty much it. Alright, let's scout with Hogbite. A mutant, uh, the only enemy that Hogbite can simply overwhelm.
Hmm. Okay. But we do have a plan for that. Our main goal is to get out of here without taking a single hit. So it's time to summon a ghost. And the ghost, on the other hand, can take a lot of hits. Eh, not the perfect timing. the perfect timing. There's the Blade Storm. Blade Storm, by the way, does not trigger the um, retaliation attack. Hogbite moves in. One disappointing news is that the ghost does not have the same amount of hit points as Hogbite has. It has the same amount of um, dodge though. Good, so that's two Bladestorm attacks for him now. <laughs> Chosen information. Well, that's really good. Superior stock. Moving in. Cleaning up some of losts. And of cleaning up all of the loss. The ghost moves in. And Dark Town Oxus follows with a double move. There we go. Blade Storm should do deal with the uh, lost perfect Hogbite continues to move in. Fortunately, just short of damage. Luckily, we can clear the whole codex out. I think at least we can do that. Pretty long shot. That was the last of them. 
Dark Tower moves. Mockbite moves. And we're almost out of here. We could farm some more experience for Dark Tower Noxus, but that is really not necessary at this point. I feel he got enough to deal with most of the mission types and he'll get enough um, experience anyways as we are getting ambushed in the future. And we're back in action. Hogbite already mounting up almost 200 kills. It's pretty impressive. The sabotage was successful. We took off two blips and no one got injured. That's even better. Which means we can continue. Bye. Getting a nice little extra health, plus interchangeable upgrades, 7 days, sounds like a beautiful plan. Yeah, pretty much smooth sailing. We still need to regain more strength. Uh, mm, via these missions and essentially just keep the enemy at bay unless we're losing through the avatar project or uh, got shut down there's really nothing that should be able to stop us. Twenty days? Yeah, I mean, why not? We have nothing to research in the Shadow Chamber. Unless we're skull jacking one of uh, the codex, uh, codices. Ah, uh, this does not look good, so I think we're going to be shut down from the Hunter next month again. There's another mission. You know, I mean, it's a potential for 105 intel. I like the idea of the advent cell. Do we really need the intel? Is the question. We're having 300. And we're currently not in dire need for it. I mean, we could use it in order to get here. So yeah, I guess we could do it. So it's going to be an extended, uh, an extended series uh, this time, on extended episode. The idea is really to see if if we could get the VIP out, and if the answer is no, then don't even bother. Sky 
Okay, and here we go again. So, timing is short. Placement of the VIP is far from optimal. So this is going to come down to a couple of factors. There is a pack kind of sitting right onto the VIP. And I'm not even going to bother trying it. Because it is going to fail. I think there was an entrance over here. My life is in your hands. Looks like a <sighs> like subtlety. Okay, so she can spot uh, hidden. Yeah, reveals concealed units, which is a problem. Big problem. We just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. The elders grant me their vision. Good. Let's reshadow. Hmm. Could position ourselves up here. Moving as ordered. Trying to be careful. I don't want the chosen to spot us out. Right. With each breath, I draw closer. I'll be swift. Good. We're oh, getting out. Very annoying situation. We got spotted out by a civilian and that just made the whole uh, mission almost impossible for us. I'm on the move. Well, look at that. So, who do we want to try to kill? We do have a repeater. We can evac, which means might as well take a shot at the Chosen. Oh my gosh. It's a low percent chance to hit, but we could get 5 AP. Nope. No. Nope. 
Well, I wouldn't call it failed. We had a chance for 105 intel and we essentially got tricked by a civilian. Alright, pretty decent. Even though we gained nothing from it. If anything, we blocked the Chosen from appearing in the next two missions. So that's a small win in my book. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Perfect. Got a nice little advantage there. And soon the month will end. From end of this month onwards, I'll do the fast forward kind of um, style. Mainly because I think we're going to be stable now. There isn't really that much that's happening during a month. So what I am going to do is I'll just uh, do a sort of a summary of whatever happened during uh, the month. And if there is like a, an interesting mission that's worthwhile watching, then I'll probably show it. I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to show all of the Avenger defenses because I think we're going to, realistically speaking, um, half of uh, the time, so every second month, we're going to be shut down by either the Hunter or the Assassin. And I guess it's a bit repetitive to see the same mission over and over again, so I might just use the highlights out of those missions as well. Yeah. Which brings us to the end of the month. Um, this is going to be the end of uh, this episode. From next episode onwards, I'll do the uh, highlight uh, kind of reel. And we're just going to try that for, for a bit. Um, just imagine for now that we still need to get stronger and stronger. And it's kind of the Rocky Balboa music in the background, Eye of the Tiger where Hogbite is constantly hitting those frozen half, halves of a pig uh, in order to be even stronger. So that's the sort of training that's going to happen over the course of the next many, many months. Uh, this was month number 17, I think. And yeah, we're, we're continuing now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, um, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.